Geologists have long debated whether we have entered what's called the Anthropocene, an epoch defined by human impact on the world. From population explosion to climate change to the nuclear arms race, just how much influence we have had on our planet remains hotly contested. But one new technology may confirm we're already there. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. You don't have to remember that. But you should know that this new gene editing technique can literally change life as we know it. By pairing these clusters with a protein called Cas9, scientists are now able to precisely edit DNA sequences in living things. They hope to be able to cure genetic diseases like sickle cell anemia and hereditary blindness. CRISPR may even be used to treat cancer and HIV. It is also being applied to the animal kingdom. Researchers in Australia are currently looking at ways to make an invasive species of poisonous toad less lethal so that native animals like the much cuter northern quoll don't die every time they munch on one. Plant scientists are using it to create healthier and more robust crops. The applications of this new tool seem endless, up to a point. So a Chinese scientist helped create the world's first genetically edited babies. He is going to jail. Mm. His name is He Jianhui. He claims to have edited the genetic code of twin baby girls to make them resistant to the HIV virus. Critics worry that applying CRISPR on human beings so early in the field's development could be extremely dangerous. One study from 2020 found that using CRISPR on cells in human embryos can lead to serious side effects, including the potential for the cells to discard large chunks of their own genetic material. And there's an even darker side to CRISPR. What about engineering soldiers who can fight without fear or pain? That's an idea that was kicked around by Russian President Vladimir Putin. То есть вы понимаете, человечество может вступить и, скорее всего, вступит в ближайшее время в очень сложный и очень ответственный период своего развития и существования. И вот то, о чем я сейчас сказал, может быть страшнее ядерной бомбы. Putin, by the way, has just earmarked nearly two billion dollars in funding for genetic research. There are gray areas too. Should we bring back the woolly mammoth? Harvard geneticist George Church seems to think so. By implanting the extinct animal's DNA into the modern Asian elephant, Church hopes to adapt the species to resemble its ancient relative in order to thrive in colder climates. The move, he says, would prevent the Asian elephant from extinction while also potentially aiding the Arctic ecosystem. What about editing the genes of your unborn children to prevent diseases like muscular dystrophy? That sounds like a pretty good idea, but exactly how much choice should parents get? The idea of designer babies is hardly new. It was even highlighted back in 1997 in the sci-fi film Gattaca, when a couple's visit to a local geneticist was more routine than a trip to the OBGYN. You have specified hazel eyes, dark hair, and uh, fair skin. I have taken the liberty of eradicating any potentially prejudicial conditions, uh, premature baldness, myopia, alcoholism, and addictive susceptibility, uh, propensity for violence. Many argue that using CRISPR technology for good or for bad amounts to playing God and that its use should be halted altogether. Others, like the World Health Organization, see enormous potential for the science, but also want to put limits on its application to prevent humanity from bringing out our worst traits. With new CRISPR-related biotech companies cropping up every day, and the 2020 Nobel Prize for Chemistry going to two early pioneers of the science, the field's visibility is rising fast. 